Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will be doing the project use it up before I move project. I really don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but I'm just going to get started because I've filmed this multiple times and my storage keeps running out and it's not filming correctly. So first, let's get started with two Urban Decay lipsticks. They're both mini. This is in the shade Back Talk. Um, really pretty, just mauve color right there. I use this one as a blush a lot. My second one is going to be in the shade Naked, which this one's more of like a my lip but better situation right there. Um, it's that lighter pink one. And yes, so this one, um, definitely more of a me shade. My next one is going to be this Rose Champagne Body, um, I get enough the shower gel. Wow, there we go. Um, I did draw a line on it. This is like I only have like a quarter left, so we're almost done. I cannot wait to finish this. It's from 2020, so I just like to like move it out of my collection. The next product is going to be the Good Stuff Color Protect Milk. Um, this is there's the line right there, about halfway ish done. Um, so I would just like to use this up. I use this like right after I get on the out of the shower in my hair, just as it is a um, just no rinse conditioner. All right, next we have Beach Nights um, Bath and Body Works Fragrance Mist. Um, this is Summer Marshmallow. This is from 2017, so it is getting pretty old. So that's one of the reasons I'd like to use it up. There is my line right there, so I have like itty is bit left. So. Um, that'll be my second full-size fine fragrance mist this year if I can finish it. Next, we have the Sugar Plum Berries Tree Hut um, Shea Sugar Scrub. So, like, you can tell in the back um, and the sides that, like, I don't have much left. So, this won't take long to use, but something I would like to be able to throw out before I move. All right, next... Um, is the L'Oreal Elive Smooth Intense Smoothing Shampoo. Um, my line is right there. I have barely any left of this. And in all honesty, I'd like to just get this out. It's not sulfate free. Let's just get rid of that. Same with these two shampoo and conditioners. They are not sulfate free. I can't mark these because I can't see through the lines, but, or not through the bottles. So this is just the Garnier Whole Blinds Gentle Conditioner and Gentle Shampoo. Oh, delicacy, really nice, just not sulfate free. So let's move these out of my collection here. All right, next, there is a few things that are not marked. So I'm going to have to mark them as we go. I do just put a dot and then draw the line um, so I can turn it and make a more straighter line. So next we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in the shade 530 Fair Light. Um, this is cruelty free, so that's really amazing. Um, have about half left and it seems to go pretty fast as that line was maybe a month ago. So I feel like if this is like the only foundation I wear, I will be able to finish it. All right. Next, we just have a few cleansers, um, as that is something that I feel like I usually bring in a lot of. So first, we have the Derma Doctor Lucky Bamboo Oil to Milk Cleanser. Amazing to take off your makeup. All right, and these next two, everything's a little oily because that one it just came out of my shower. Um, so this is the Keys Soul Care um, Golden Cleanser. Have not used this yet as well as the Hand Skin Pore Cleansing Oil, which I also have not used yet. These two I will start using as soon as that Derma Doctor is up. All right, next we have the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil. I have the ittiest, tiniest bit left, but I would just like to get this out of my collection as I don't really wear, do my brows all that much because they're pretty thick in general. All right. Next, we have the Lorac Perfection Baked Perfecting Powder. Um, done, almost done. I've hit pan. It's super flat. So hopefully in like a month, if this is like one of the only powders I use, I'll be able to move this out. As well as this Avita Hand Relief Moisturizing Cream. Um, I have a lot of lotions and other products, so I'm only putting one little um, product in here just 
Hopefully I can use these. If I use this all over my body, it should only take like four-ish uses, I hope. So just, I need to start lotioning my body more. Next, we have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. This one is, I also haven't marked it. Wow, I should have did this before. Um, this one's a little over halfway, but if I use it daily, I think I should be good to go with using this up. Um, I do have a backup of this, so if I can get this one out, plus like it's in a glass bottle, it's heavier than other products. Next, we have this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set Plus Refresh Spray. Um, there's my lines. Really nice mister. Love this one for setting my makeup. But it is a travel size, and I would just like to get it gone before I move. As I'll be moving a lot um, within the next like four or five months. I'll be moving twice, actually, to different places. So, moving on from that. We have the Victoria's Secret Teas um, Fragrance Mist. There is my mark right there, that brown one. I love this spray. Let's just spray. It's so good. Um, this is more um, like nighttime slash going out, or in my opinion, just more adultish. Um, so I feel really good putting this on. Next, um, we have another setting spray. This is the MAC Fix Plus. Have not even used it, but it's just like a little miniature one. I should be able to get this, no issue. All right, next we have the Garnier Whole Blends Miracle Nectar um, 10 in 1 Care for All Hair Types. This is just a leave in conditioner. So I'm just going to stick this one in my bathroom to use as soon as I get out of the shower, like I do with that good stuff. Um, color Milk. So this is like one use. So. But I don't like using samples like that. All right, next we have the Way Wave Spray. Um, and I'm actually like, let's just, there we go. First mist. Oh, it has a nice mister, so we're good with that. But, ooh, it smells good too. So um, we just like to get this gone. Next, we have the Nude Stick Lip Glaze in Nude 04. Um, I didn't set this up right, but it is about right there, um, like halfway. So if I can just use this one daily, that shouldn't be an issue. Next, we have the Confidence in an Eye Cream. Um, just miniature, little. Um, there's I've used it a little bit, but it's the Cosmetics. I love their um, Confidence line, so this will be great to use. Um, just a few more skincare, and then we move on to all perfumes. So the next is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. Um, have not used this, like, at all, so still super has, you can definitely tell us some air in it. So, just a moisturizer. And then I have another moisturizer. This is also the It Cosmetics, um, Confidence in a Cream. I have not really used this one all that much. But just get it out of my collection as it is a sample. They're my favorite samples to get because the full size is very expensive. And I'm a college student, so I try to save my money as best as I can. This next is the Hand Skin Hydroleron, Hydroleron, I think I'm saying that right, Skin Essence. Um, it's just right there, not much left. Just want to use this one up. I have another mini one too, but this one's um, has less in it, so let's just... Let's just move this one out. All right, amazing. So next, oh, I have one more skincare product. I'll take that back. So I have this Philosophy Renewed Hope in a Jar Peeling Mousse. Um, I actually really like this as it just, like my dry patches, on, especially my forehead, I'll just put this on, let it sit, rub it in, and I feel like my dryness really goes away, and then I'll moisturize, and I feel about good as new the next day. All right. So the part that I have the most products in, and I'm going to fully admit, I probably will not finish all of these, but the more progress I make, the better. Um, so these are the three that I for sure want gone. Um, the rest are just going to be used, and let's see how far I can get. So this first one is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue um, Perfume. So um, this shouldn't take long. Um, I hate this one because it's not a spray, 
all of these are not, well, I have one that's a spray. So that's the pain about these. Next is the Pyrette um, Fragrance Oil. Um, I really don't know. I just got this one. It has like this weird little like, it's not a dropper. It's just like a little, I don't know, but it is an oil. So like, I hate using it because like oil on my body, but like, let's just use it up and get rid of it. And next we have the Ellis Brooklyn Apri um, Ude Perfume. And this one is a spray. I have yet to use this one, so we'll see how that one smells soon, but um, maybe I'll use this one today. Three I for sure want gone. And then I have four that I would like to focus on more than the other two. So I have the Ariana Grande Cloud um, perfume. I love Ariana Grande's perfumes. I just think they are good, sophisticated, yet still girly, and just all-time favorite. So I've had this one longer than um, most of them, so I just want to use it up. Plus, I do have the full size um, right here, so it's not a big deal if I use this one up because I have a full size. Next is the Michael Kors Gorgeous, also just a little dropper one um, sample size, but it's nice. It's a little more sophisticated than I normally go for. So this one is a lot harder for me to use. It's more of like when I am like going places at night rather than like work because I work on campus. All right, next is a Dolce & Gabbana um, Rose. Um, it's Rose. That would explain a lot of why this one isn't my favorite. I never even realized that. Um, if you can see, I have used it a little bit there. Um, so if I can get this one out of all of them, this one is the one I'd want gone first um, after I finish the little mini, mini ones. Next is this Chloe, and this is just the original. I love this fragrance. And after I finish this, this will go on the top of my wish list for the next fragrance I would like to purchase. All right, these two are the two newest ones I have gotten. So this is the... Ber Berche, Berche, I'm so bad at pronouncing things, Dylan Turquoise, cutest bottle ever, I will say, um, but I just got this one um, in an Ulta um, sampler, so it's not a big deal if I don't finish this one, but I would like to like use it, see how I feel about it, and just kind of dip my toes a little bit in it. And this next one is the Dolce & Gabbana Lily. Um, same little bottle as the other Dolce one, but I love this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. Like, I think this one might be about tied with the Chloe, so this one also might go on my wish list. But we'll see after I finish using it and see how it works with my body chemistry a little bit more. So those are, that's everything. Um, I know that there was quite a bit there, but I am moving and I just... I can't keep taking all this little stuff that's almost gone with me. So if I can just get rid of it, that'll be great. You'll see all this stuff in my empties. I will do a finale and then just keep a watch out on my empties probably for if I finish them or not before my finale of it. But I'm really happy with the products and I hope I can finish it all. And I just appreciate y'all for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to keep updated with all my other projects, my empties, and all the videos I have planned, you can go ahead and subscribe down below, as well as my Instagram. Um, I do have two of them. I have a social one for like posting myself and pictures and stuff like that, and that is Marissa Stubai. Also, we'll have it down below, as well as my Beauty Talks MMS, which is more of like I post, I'm doing a collab on there with a project pan and more beauty stuff as well as like polls so if you ever want to help pick videos like this video was picked by my followers i listed four out and this one won so that is amazing as well if you'd like to do that but otherwise thank you for watching and i hope you all have a fantastic day bye